Hello and welcome to Infinity. Alpha, it's a kind of Greek word and it has a special meaning in, in uh, photo editors, including Infinity Photo. And uh, the first time I heard it, I had no idea what it meant, but it turns out it's really easy. It just means transparency. It turns out to be extremely useful as well. Um, one thing in particular is because Affinity and Photoshop and other such editors have layered models in which you want to be able to see part of the way through from one layer through to another layer, which we'll see in a bit. So let's have a look at it first of all. Let's just take the Erase Bush, the easiest way to do it. And as in the preview here, if you paint, you can see by poke through and that grey and white checkerboard shows what's underneath. Um, I can change this here with document. If I change documents here, the transparent background, if I turn that off, you end up with white. But it's usually nice to keep that on like this. So if I'm also on the raised brush here, I can change the hardness. And this shows another important element. If I turn that down and come down here, make the brush a bit bigger. If I paint a little bit in here, you can see I've got a fade on the edge. Across here there's a fade and I can show that with the, the alpha on the info panel down here. If you haven't got that, go to view, down to studio and then down to info here and make sure it's turned on and the panel will appear. What this does is it shows the red, green and blue and also the alpha because every pixel has got a 0 to 255 value in normal 8-bit mode uh, of red, green and blue. It's also got the same in alpha. So if I go over here, underneath the cursor, the red, green and blue is changing, but the alpha is 255, which means it's fully on. But as you go towards here, you see the alpha going down and down and down. So in the middle of this partly erased area, you've got a, an intermediate one and you come into the middle and everything goes to zero to show that it's fully disappeared. We can also do this if we click on here to add pixel layer. I've now got a layer above this. This starts off as being transparent, so you just see the original picture. If I put something on top of it, you'll see it. So let's just switch this here. So I've got red and pick a paintbrush. And now when I paint, oops, switched again, let's go back, get red, there we go. Now when I paint, you can see it's not only painted the colour, but the faded bit of the edge, because I've got a soft brush, the pick layer underneath shows. So I turn that off, there it is. And there, so it lets this top layer blend nicely into the, the bottom layer. This sort of thing happens also with selection. So if I take say a selection brush and I sort of paint around here then this dotted line here just shows the edge of it. If I turn on the quick mask up here there I've got a hard edge selection but it can soften the selection. I get effectively an alpha effect if I paint here with the paintbrush tool in the way of a mask and paint this around the edge of this. Depending upon the opacity and the hardness, you'll get a different effect. So let's um, go back here. Looking at channels as well, we get it in here. So with the channel, you get the red, green and blue. You also get alpha. So if I click on this, anything white, I click on the red is where the, the red pixels are. Going through grey to black is less and less red. Similarly with green, blue and alpha, which is here. So there's all sorts of things you can do. I'll do one more very quick thing to show how advanced you can get with this. Turn that channels back on. And what I'll do now is I'll just go back up to here. Right, now I'm going to go Control J to duplicate this layer. Now I'm going to go to Filters, Apply Image. And this is kind of uh, a more advanced thing, but just shows you this does exist. If you don't know about it, don't worry, but just enjoy what it can do. 
So I'm going to go to equations, and I go to this RGB here, drop this down and go to LAB, which is another thing which if you don't know about, don't worry. But this is here, the L is for lightness. So if I change the alpha here, which says make turn the alpha into the destination alpha, instead of the source alpha, I change it to the source lightness, then nothing seems to have happened, but it's because I've got the bottom layer on here. So I turn this bottom layer there. Now I'm just on the top layer and it has changed the uh, alpha here to be similar as this. So what I've done is creating a luminosity mask effectively, a luminosity layer, which means then if I turn the bottom layer on again, and I change the blend mode, if I change that, say, to overlay, there we are, I've got a different effect. So I can turn the top layer on or off, on, off, and there we go. I can even, you know, play around again if I wanted to punch a hole in this, just to show the alpha effect again. If I paint on one layer, nothing seems to happen because I'm just on the top layer. If I paint on the bottom layer as well, there we go. I've got a hole in the middle of my picture. Well, there we go. Hope you found that interesting. That is all about alpha. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.